this is our cat 303 cr mini excavator and it's got a couple things i want to take care of on it but here's the main issue and why it's not usable right now So you can kind of see that hole on the bottom of the water pump, that's called the weep hole. And coolant will come out of there when the water pump starts leaking, so this needs a new water pump. It's been losing coolant lately, that's why I have the bottle up there. So I'm 90% sure that's where it's going. And it also needs a valve cover gasket, and this cylinder rebuilt, but I don't think I'm going to do that in this video. I don't have the wrench for it. So looks like it's gonna be kind of hard to get to that, but let's get started. Get a much better look at the extent of the oil leakage. And that's definitely oil, that's not fuel. And it looks like it is definitely coming from around the valve cover. And that's a lot too, that's not just a seep. All right, this little panel comes out of here and that gives us access to the alternator to get tension off the belt. Got the belt off, just loosen up that tensioning bolt and push the alternator in. three bolts on this here's another better look see that you can see the puddle of green coolant under the water pump but uh, now we have to figure out how to get this fan off and there goes the wrench Finally got those fan bolts off. Looks like we got a, uh, there's this spacer and this spacer. This one goes up against the uh, water pump. I have to clean these bolts up just to make sure they thread in really easy so assembly goes smooth. And uh, make sure fan goes like that, putting it back in. pulley and the belt. This belt definitely is going to be replaced. It looks like to drain the coolant, you just spin that valve down there. Yep, that is pretty convenient. Look at that. Busted right off. Good thing I have a new one. Shred to pieces. I have a new thermostat and gaskets. Need a f I'm going to go look at the new pump and figure out which bolts have to come out. Alright, it's the bottom four bolts on this pump. And let's make sure we get them back in their respective spots because it's likely that they're going to be different lengths. Alright, so just the very front one is longer. And there goes the mess. The new parts. Belt. These are the seals for that cylinder. Gaskets, thermostat, that hose. 
valve cover gasket, and the water pump. Let's compare new and old. They look exactly the same. So these are obviously made by ASIN, because this isn't a Caterpillar motor, but I got these parts from CAT. Hopefully it's better quality. Got both those surfaces cleaned up, but I want to try and get this valve cover off. I got the four bolts out. I don't see how it's gonna be possible to take it off though. I don't think there's gonna be enough space to. I'll try and finagle it though. And with that cover out of the way, there's plenty of space to get this valve cover off. According to the valve cover, valve lash cold, point, valve lash cold, 0.25 millimeters, which is 9.8 thousandths, so 10 thousandths of an inch. And those are quite loose. So the way I'm gonna set these is just spin them. Cause you know when one valve is all the way open, the other one's gotta be closed pretty much. So we'll get these set. All right, got them all set. I did these two first spun it did those two spun it again and did those two so like i said before ten thousandths make sure all your lock nuts are tight got the valve cover gasket service cleaned up got the valve cover cleaned up and i put the new gasket in with some silicone grease here's the number for the gasket and there's the grease i used the old gasket it's definitely hard um there's some imperfections on it but no immediate damage on it i think it's just hard and compressed over time all right let's get this on and try not to get any dirt or anything any contaminants on it Got our gasket here. There's a number for the gasket. And I don't know if I showed it before, but there's the number for the pump. Thin layer of that silicone holding the gasket on. Got all the bolts cleaned up. Don't forget the long bolt goes in the front. I'm not gonna tighten those up all the way just yet so we can let the silicone dry. Here's the number for the thermostat. Pop that down there. Make sure you got it sitting in the groove. Just the gasket. Got this cleaned up, a little silicone on it. Here's the number for the new belt, and it's likely that this one's original, considering it's a Mitsubishi part and how, like look at that. Just stick that in there for now. And the fan is on and tight. Now we can come and use a pry bar and tighten the belt. Alright, 
I'm gonna need to cut the belt on and tensioned. Now I'll put these hoses on, make sure nothing fell in them. Should have probably got a new upper rad hose, but this one will do for now. Now we can put on that bypass hose. There's the number. I think this cover can go on. All right, I think that's it for everything except for the air cleaner. So I'm gonna start filling it with coolant. This is going to take a while to fill because it's going to have to keep bubbling out. Okay, it's the next morning, and I don't see a drop of coolant anywhere. Let's see if we're still at the same level. It looks like we dropped a little bit, but that's probably just because it expanded when it was running. project right now is I want to move this shed over so we can put a temporary shed thing, put some of the tractors in. So let's get these trailers out of the way. I had the battery on the charger, but I'm going to use the Top Dawn booster pack again.
All right, I think we finally got it pretty level. The doors look pretty square to the rest of it. The farm jack is pretty handy. And all of our, all of our scrap metal is uh, still on the shelves. And the round things are not rolling too far, so it should be level. All right, these trees are out of the way and cleaned up. Let me pop the stumps out and maybe try and smooth this ground out a little bit.
all those stumps popped out of the ground and the whole time the temperature stayed right in the middle so I'd call that repair a success. This cylinder, I mean it's seeping a little but really not bad. This one is pretty bad. You can see it's dripped just since I've been sitting here. Well, that's it for the Cat 303 in this video. I'm going to have to reseal those cylinders at some point, and I also want to change the hydraulic fluid and in-tank hydraulic filter. So thanks for watching, and here's some more uh, drone footage. I'm getting a little better with the drone, flying it at a local reservoir. See if anyone can figure out where this is or the name of this reservoir. So stay tuned for the next one. Have a Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah and see you in the next one.